Hi, my name is Robin Bremer. I'm the author of the Kingdom Living series. And today, I just want to basically show, share with you how I came to be where I am and what my goal and vision is for you. I was basically, only time I went to church was, I believe, until the age of 12, my parents would drop me off at church, or at the age of 12, they dropped me off at church a couple times because um, they were Lutheran and uh, I was going to get confirmed. So I went to church for like 10 lessons or 5 lessons or something and then got confirmed, wore this outfit and got confirmed. Uh, <clears throat> and I had I grew up and um, uh, one day a neighbor invited me to go to church on Easter. And I went to church. I never had anything to do with this neighbor before. Uh, they just invited me to church. I went to church and that pastor was very wise. He told the gospel message. He helped me and showed me what it was all about and he gave the gospel message and I gave my heart to Jesus. One of the first churches I went to I remember <laughs> the pastor warned everybody in the congregation to stay away from me that I was hyper faith because I believed that God was good and that God wanted us all healthy and healed and everything else and I just had a strong belief in God and this uh, I started to learn about healing so when people I was one of the people who worked in the church of a group of about 50 people who worked in the church I worked with 20 other kids my age or young adults and I started teaching and sharing with them about God wanted them healed and praying for them well this congregation was 2,000 member congregation as pastor Zach was his name uh, in Hermosa Beach and <laughs> he came up the stairs one day I didn't even know he knew who I was or could care less but I was coming up the stairs one day and he was coming down with a group of people and he stopped me and he said, by the way, First Peter First Peter 2.24, by his stripes we have been healed, is spiritual, it's not physical. And I went to say, oh yeah, you want to bet? Yeah, how does your spirit, your spirit is made new, it's not, it's not healed, it's made new. Uh, but, so that's the second pastor that got on to me. So I began, so that was my drive, that was my drive, God is a good God and I'm, I know it and I'm going to know that I know that I know it. So I started studying and researching it and in another church I went to, um, <laughs> the pastor, uh, just all kinds of things like this. Uh, one of the things is uh, I was hungry for the Holy Spirit, I was hungry for power, for the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit, which I'm sure you are uh, because there's more than, Christian life does not consist of being good, being obedient, and doing right things. Those are the fruit of having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And when you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, um, you have um, His presence and His power. And that results in right behavior. And I was after that presence and power. I knew that there were signs and wonders happening in places, and I wanted more. I was hungry. So that drove me into searching the Word of God and one day I was standing with my eyes closed and my hands held up just surrendering to God praising and worshiping and a man walked by the evangelist walked by and I felt God's presence I felt that he actually loved me and cared about me and one time that happens to you you will never be the same that took all religion out of me and I started pursuing God in a personal relationship with him and started getting into the word, start hunger and getting hungry and started finding scriptures and confessing scriptures and believing scriptures. And I found the one scripture that said that um, um, it's been given for us to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. And I started confessing that scripture and standing on that scripture. And um, when I was, uh, my children were first born 20 some years ago, I would go into my prayer closet and spend hours praising and worshiping when they were little and in bed, praising and worshiping and praying in tongues, trying to get a hold of signs and wonders. And it took almost 20 years for my, it took, you know, well, maybe not that long, about 15 years. So I was in a place where somebody who knew God and carried God's presence came into my life. And that was that evangelist walking by. So the evangelist walking by and feeling God's presence on me and him carrying his presence in his body stirred me on to signs and wonders. So, and through that process, I started beginning to find out that the, about the love of God and have a compassion and a drive 
to help you realize that that God is a good God all the time. He he did it all for us, and all we had to do is receive it. He he made us healthy, wealthy, prosperous. He gave us protection, healing, guidance, direction. He did it all. He gave it all to us already. We just have to take it and receive it. The kingdom and the power and uh, presence of God is in us to enforce what Jesus paid for on the cross, and that's healing and prosperity and so on and so on. So that is why I am so animate and so strong in teaching that those things because that's where I came from. And then the signs and wonders, I, I learned about signs and wonders in this next series that I'm writing is about the Holy Spirit <clears throat> and uh, supernatural, the supernatural and the Holy Spirit, which is all about the new covenant. That's so exciting, but I don't want to get into that now. And then... The other thing I learned that totally changed my life and that I really want to share with you guys and the passion that I have is I was coming to visit a church that was an hour drive away and the pastor was really excited about the things of God and really wanted people to get saved. But every Sunday he would call people up to the altar and say, basically say, get saved again because you did something stupid last night so now in order for you not to go to hell you have to repent and I'm thinking you know God that's not right you aren't a, you don't make us a new creature one day and the next creature we're not it's like pulling it's not like pulling off flowers off a daisy he loves me he loves me not I'm going to hell no I'm not yes I am no I'm not you know like pulling daisy petals off a flower God's not like that and me and my husband would talk have charged conversations and I'm saying you know I wasn't quite there. I didn't quite believe it yet, and I wanted to believe it. And I saw signs of it being true, once saved, always saved. But yet, like you, I was battling. Like, how can that be? I've always heard, you know, you got to repent. you got to do this. you got to do that. Or you're going to go to hell. I said, you know, it can't be about that. It just doesn't make sense. You know, you get saved by the blood of Jesus, but then you have to do this, this, and this to stay saved. It's like somebody giving you, I'm giving you this Mercedes. It's all yours, free and clear. You don't have to do anything. But, oh yeah, you have to make a $100 payment every a month, every every month. That's not free and clear. That's not a gift. That's an obligation. And so I began to think about that. And so, so when I finally, it took almost two years to get into my spirit that I know that once we're saved, when we mess up, we're still saved. I want you to know that. I want you to to know the power of that because that empowers you to walk in signs and wonders and miracles which you're created to do that empowers you to walk in peace and God's presence that empowers you to have victory over sin it empowers you to change your whole life and it's so so important that you know that you know that you know that you know that God loves you he won't leave you he won't forsake you you're not going to hell because you messed up and did something stupid he still loves you when he looks at you he sees you through the blood of Jesus so these are my two driving powers is to walk in God's presence and power and to give all that time that I spend in worship and that time I spend in prayer and searching uh, give all that information to you so you can do the same thing and all the digging and the information and the scriptures and research that I did on once saved always saved about the grace of God I want to give that to you I want to empower you to step out in ministry to get out in the street in your workplace to lay hands on people to see their legs grow out to see their arms grow out to see their back healed to see metal replaced with bone to see lives change because you were created to be supernatural and that's my goal that's my vision that's my purpose and that's my drive is for you to come out of the place that I was in and to come in and take what I learned and to just implant it into you so you can grow and you can take that information and you can give it to others. In fact, that's what my whole Bible study that's going to be out in the next couple of months is all about. It's to take that information and to stand up without no credit from the church, without no titles, without no uh, bat, nothing, just you to take that information, to go into your neighborhood, to have a Bible study at home, into the prisons, into self help groups into a village whatever take that Bible study and you who have no degrees no titles no not just a person and to take that information and share it with a group and to empower them to change the world 
and then they take that information and they spread it around and that is my hope and my desire to get you being the person that God created you to do excelling in your ministry being the supernatural person God created you to be and it is a fun place to be so I hope I haven't said too much I just wanted to share my heart I wanted to pray with you I want you encouraged to leave comments I don't care if I don't like comments um, if I don't like what you're saying it doesn't matter it's okay comment other people comment back that's how we grow that's how I learn what to teach what to share is by your comments by your disagreement by your agreeing by your encouragement um, share uh, you know share it and check out my blog robinbremer.net uh, check out my videos on YouTube and just you know let's let's have a conversation so I will talk to you tomorrow.